day eight of the Feel Good Scoliosis 30 day challenge. Today is gonna to be a little bit more educational. There's some really important things that I want you to know with scoliosis and I'm gonna to use today to go over those. So, with scoliosis, obviously we know that it is a lateral curvature of the spine. So I have my little um, spine here to show you what I mean. So this is a scoliosis curve. So we have, let's say this is right thoracic, left lumbar. And I mean with right so that thoracic left lumbar, we're gonna have a very small little curve in the neck, so the cervical, and you might have, you'll either have a three curve which might look a little something like this, or you'll have a four curve where there is a little bit of a tilt in the pelvis as well. Anyway, with this scoliosis curve, there are certain movements that we want to avoid. And I'm going to explain to you why using my lovely stick snake thing, I don't know, <laughs> pipe cleaner, <laughs> um, to demonstrate why. So we have these lateral curves of our spine and we want to avoid really deep lateral bending movements, really deep twisting movements, really deep flexion and really deep extension. And I'm saying really deep because we still need to be able to do these movements. For example, if I wanna see who's behind me, I need to be able to twist and look. Or if I wanna see what's on the floor, I need to be able to flex down and have a look. We need to be able to move our spines in these directions, but we want to avoid going into this really, really deep. And you will see this sometimes with some yoga poses or just things that we do throughout the day like if you're really like if you're driving and you're really trying to twist and look who's behind you these little things throughout our, our day are you know things that might actually progress the curvature and um what and actually contribute towards pain so when it comes to lateral bending for example our, our vertebrae are basically stuck in this position, especially where the, where the apex of the curve is. They're, they become a wedge shape and the vertebrae are stuck here. So our spines don't really have any movement here. Like a normal spine would flex, extend, rotate. Our spines are very stiff at the curves, which means that there's these things called the transition zones or the tipping point, which is the part in between our curve so that would be this bit in the middle that takes all of the movement. So every time, if I was to bend to the side, this is actually, um, yeah, this is the direction of my curve. So if I bend to the side, my spine doesn't do this to pick things up like a normal spine would. It's going to bend at the tipping point, at the transition zone when I do this. And if I go over this way, it's not gonna like, you know, do a normal spine thing. It's going to bend at the transition zone. If I twist, it's going to twist at the transition zone. So you can see what I mean. If I fold forward, this point is gonna take all of the movement. And there's gonna be a point here, there's gonna be a point here, and there's gonna be a point here for this particular curve. So it's, it's in between each curve of our body, and it's highly likely that we have more than one. I hate to break it to you. If you think you have one curve, you're gonna very likely have smaller compensatory curves somewhere else. So you're gonna have multiple tipping points. So that's why we wanna avoid these certain movements. So that's what can contribute towards pain. And if you have a fusion, it's a similar kind of thing. So you'll be fused at, so, at some point in your spine, but there's gonna be some vertebrae above and below your fusion, which aren't fused and take all of the movement as well. So these are the tipping points of a fused spine. And that is why we do get pain with scoliosis because there are certain vertebrae, certain parts of our spines that take all of the movement and the mobility so that's just something to be aware of and why we want to avoid certain movements. 
So just when you, when you go down to pick something up, don't round into your back and pick it up. Bang from your hips. Use your hip joints to do something like that. If you're, I don't know, doing yoga, don't go into a really deep back bend. You know, do a gentle lift through the chest, squeeze the back muscles, but don't really come into something like a wheel pose or a bow pose or something really, really deep. Um, which is going to get that tipping point. <laughs> um, we also, when we're doing twists, even though because obviously we have rotation of our spine, so it might seem like a good idea to just twist and rotate in the other way, but obviously when you're doing that, you're not twisting really from your vertebrae at the curve, you're twisting from your transition zone. Um, so there's a lot of YouTube videos and stuff out there that is going to see that you have scoliosis and be like, oh, okay, so your curve goes this way. Well, if we just bend it that way, then it's going to fix it. And it's not. <laughs> it's going to aggravate the transition zone and it's going to push you more into your other curve, which is highly likely that you do have other curves. So just wanted to make that clear for you and to give you a little bit of scoliosis education. Of course, we can give ourselves a little bit of a stretch. You've been sitting down here listening to me ramble about scoliosis, so well done if you've made it this far. But we can just finish taking a nice big stretch, taking an inhale, reaching the arms as high to the ceiling as you can, whether you're seated or standing, you can join me here. You can bring, lace your fingers, turn the palms up towards the ceiling, and take a big stretch, keep the shoulders down away from your ears. And then gently release, lowering the arms down. Let's do that two more times. Big stretch, reaching up towards the ceiling. You can turn the palms up. Get as long as you can through the spine. And then reach the arms down. One more time. Let's get as long through the body as possible. Push the arms up. Nice big stretch and then gently release. Good, well done. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow.